Okay, so planting money seeds is actually simple when uh, you go with ways that people don't leave out intentionally in their videos. I'm going to give you guys this uh, document. It's going to be in a file um, somewhere in this video. I'm going to give it to you for free. But first, I'm going to ask you a couple questions that people might not ask you when you watch their videos. How sick are you of switching niches, uh, being a victim of shiny object syndrome, making a little bit of money off of this business venture and then giving up, okay? That's because your seeds are not planted properly or you have the wrong seeds to begin with. So in this video, we got four steps to planting money seeds. I broke it down dynamically and you just follow these four steps and it's not magic, it is nature, natural laws. You follow these four steps, you'll be able to plant money seeds that can turn into a forest, all right? So number one is tilling the field, all right? So let me get a marker. Number one is tilling the field. In business, this will be market research. So market research, make sure that there's an audience for what you're trying to sell, all right? What types of assets do you want to create? What type of products? What type of services? Make sure there's an audience for that before you go and create that stuff. And that's where people mess up at. They just get started. They just, I want to make some money and just rush out there. So let me get some proof that this works. Ecclesiasticus 10 and 10. It says, if the iron be blunt and he do not wet the edge, when it says wet the edge, it means sharp sharpen the axe then he must put more strength but wisdom is profitable to direct so the smart way of going about it instead of just grabbing a, a blunt axe and doing this all day is to sharpen the axe first spend more time sharpening the axe and then swing it. you only have to swing a couple times to chop the tree down so it's the same thing with business you don't have to have a million ideas if you prove the market first. Take your time proving the market before you even start planting those seeds. So we have tilling the field is market research. That's step number one. All right, before we move on, guys, I do have something. It's called the Asset Empire. We have students in there, and uh, they have their own affiliate networks. Niche affiliate networks with proven markets. They have their own social networks. These are real assets, online business directories that they can monetize, all right? So that will go across the screen whenever you guys are ready for that. So number two is sowing seed, all right? Sowing seed, all right? So these are the assets. Seeds are assets. What kind of assets? Well, the assets are what you determined would be good for that market when you went and did the research. When you went and analyzed those audiences, their pain points, their pleasure, desires, and everything, you was like, hmm, what could I create that would actually help them move towards pleasure or away from pain? So the sowing of the seeds are the assets that you're gonna be putting out, okay? So we have some more proof of that. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6. It says, He which soweth sparingly shall reap sparingly. He which soweth bountifully will reap bountifully. So what is that saying? A lot of you guys have heard about the tunnel vision. People tell you to focus on one thing and everything like that. Okay. Once you figure out what your gift is, you're supposed to flood the market. Okay, you still tunnel vision because you know what your gift is. You know what your purpose is. But you're supposed to put out as many products and services as you possibly can. Flood the market with your assets. So what do I mean by that? If I am uh, um, a person that helps people with, with health, okay, specifically uh, back health, okay? So maybe I have a back brace product, okay? Maybe I have a book that teaches people how to have a healthy spine uh, health, all right? Then I have a topical cream, and then I have a clinic that they can actually come in and get, uh, you know, uh, procedures done and everything. So I'm going to flood with all of that. You see what I'm saying? But it's still tunnel vision, guys. So you just make sure you're sowing the right seeds, as many as you can, 
all right, up front, as many as you can. In the Asset Empire, uh, I have my students, they have the affiliate network, but it's in their niche. They have their online directory, but it's in their niche. They have their social network, but it's in their niche though, okay? So it's still all niche, niche streamlined. They're sowing the right seeds. The problem with people that are broke is because it's not because they're not trying, it's because you're sowing the wrong seeds or you're sowing the right seeds to the wrong audience. Uh, if, you, if you try to plant, a seed that's made for Panama in the middle of the Sahara Desert, do you think it's gonna grow the same way some type of cactus would? No. So the first thing you need to do is your market research, and then you need to sow the right seeds. Create assets. If you ain't got no cash yet, it's because you, you don't own no assets, okay? So now, next is watering and lighting. All right, so watering and lighting is uh, now that you've been growing these seeds. So what are you gonna be doing? You're gonna be introduced to audience. So do you remember those audiences that you located when you did step one, when you were doing a market research, when you were prepping the ground, the soil, before you planted the seeds? This is you making your leverage list, or some people will call it uh, your dream 100 list, okay? So now you're gonna reach out to that dream 100 list. You're gonna introduce them to your product or service, that perfect market that you took the time to figure out, okay? So this is you watering the seeds. This is you shining the light, literally, on your assets, okay? And this is how you're gonna start getting your first sales. This is how you're gonna get your first subscriptions and, and, and people, uh, the word of mouth marketing and advertising is gonna start coming. So it's gonna start growing your little forest that you have, okay? So now we got Matthew. Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, because we have scriptures that back up everything, okay? Biblical business principles. Matthew 5, verse 16 says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify God. So God gave you a gift. Your gift is to provide your gift to these people that are in pain or that are going towards pleasure as long as it's lawful. That is your job. So step three, after you've sown those seeds and created those assets, is to now present it to that hungry, thirsting market that you located in step one. That is how you start watering and bringing sunlight to those seeds. So what is number four? Number four is thinning the seed. Now you're going to thin the seed. What does it mean to thin the seed? <laughs> and I did a little research on farmers, right? And this stuff all lines up with the Bible scriptures and business, guys. So I did a little research on farmers. So it says, removing the crowded, slow-growing, or weakest seeds from the healthiest seeds. So why would they do that? To allow them room for the roots to grow and to flourish. So that's the same thing with your assets. Every last one of your assets are not going to be million dollar or billion dollar projects, but you might be wasting a lot of time, uh, uh, you know, trying to nurture them or grow these when you might need to just scrap them, okay? That way you can give those healthy, profitable, monetized assets time and dedication and room to grow, okay? So... You don't want to waste resources on stuff that's not worth it or bring you anything back, okay? So it says, thin the crowd. Get rid of some of those assets. So this is why you want to create a lot of assets up front because everybody's not going to be a winner, okay? And this is strategically doing this. You're not just throwing everything at the wall to see what works. You're strategically doing it because you already planned, plotted out. You proved the market first, okay? But you want to thin the herd and just focus on the winners, the prize bulls, okay? So it says, John 15 and 2, every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. So this is what God does. <laughs> You ever wonder why, like, you'll lose a person in your life 
or you'll lose something that you are spending a lot of attention to that you know ain't right and it just, it just go wrong, that's God trying to help you. So it says, every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every, watch this, and every branch that beareth fruit, that does produce something good, he purges it, so he perfects it, he cleanses it, all right? He proves it, all right? Why? That it may bring forth more fruit. So like I was saying, you get rid of those assets that aren't doing you any good. Uh, those virtual assistants that you have creating content for them, now you can direct them to go create content for the ones that are profitable. You can really scale those up, all right? Like the, uh, the team that... Are, are in charge of the product creation. Now they can work on more features for the ones that are actually doing something. So these are the four steps to planting and watering your money seeds so that it can sprout into a forest as big as the Amazon close to where I'm living in freaking Panama.